Hi everyone, today I'm doing a review on the new Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer in Luminous Light. The Hourglass Primer feels a little bit more drying, it's not as moisturizing, it takes a little bit more to blend out, it's not as creamy. And I'm also going to be comparing it to the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. The Becca one feels like a very hydrating and moisturizing primer and it glides on the skin so seamlessly. I've used this before and I think it gives a beautiful finish to the skin. It makes your skin look so healthy. It blurs and smooths the skin and just evens out your skin tone without adding much coverage. I actually really enjoy using this product alone on my face. I'm gonna use it for its sole purpose of being a primer and use it under foundation. So I'm gonna blend it out. It blends out very streaky, so you have to work with it. It brightened up my skin. Very, very subtle sheen to the skin. It did blur and fill out my pores. It's very subtle, but it even reduced the redness around my cheek area. Let me give you a close-up of both sides with bare skin and the primer. Kind of exaggerated my blackheads here. You may not be able to tell the slight difference that this product makes on your skin. But once you apply coverage on your skin and the foundation evens out your skin tone, maybe make you look a little glowy, the effect of this product isn't there, you know, isn't significant anymore. I'm still finding like streaks here and there on my skin, so I'm trying to blend that out, but it kind of does dry down and then once it dries it just kind of flakes off whenever you try to blend it out like it's, it's it's too late so if you want something luminous and this one smells amazing a little goes a long way it blends out beautifully so easy oh my god it's so smooth i should have wiped my fingers because there's still hourglass product on here and it's kind of um, balling up into small pieces so let me do that right now I don't know if you guys can see these chunks of like product from the hourglass and the Becca primer mixing together I hope you guys can notice the difference in the sheen between each side the hourglass feels more powdery and the Becca feels more hydrating my skin feels more plump it kind of reflects the pores a little more exaggerates them so my freckles are just more reflective now. My pores are more reflective. Everything's just reflective. There's no coverage, no evening out the skin tone. It just adds glow to your skin. Today I'm going to use the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I have it in the shade Porcelain now, so I'm really excited to try this shade. I am very happy that they came out with a lighter shade. You can already see how much more glowy this side is, so the primer like really enhanced the luminosity of this foundation, while over here the luminosity is a little bit more subtle. They just have different levels of intensity. Very beautiful. It can, it can pass for natural. Yeah. So what do you guys think? I think that both sides look beautiful, very radiant, healthy looking. Now I think what's going to be interesting is to see how well these perform as primers. You know, primers are supposed to prolong the wear of your foundation, even out the surfaces of your skin. I'll check back within a couple of hours. I'm starting to now see more of a difference between the two sides. The hourglass side has continued to stay less luminous and more on the satin side. Becca is not natural. It's going to be a little, you know, little oomph, little glow more than usual. I think the hourglass primer does a better job at keeping and adhering makeup onto the skin better. I'm gonna have to give Hourglass the points for giving a better makeup application. Around the nose area, it looks like there's less redness here than over here. So I honestly think the Hourglass is a better primer, a better 
product to prep your skin. Becca to me is less of a primer. It's more of like an enhancer. You know, it enhances the glow. Um, it doesn't fill in the pores. It does like make a smooth canvas and moisturizes your skin and it preps your skin for foundation, but not as good and efficient as your typical pore filling and base smoothing primer. You know, maybe neither one of these are for you and that's okay. Because it's so subtle, for almost $50 including tax, I don't know if this product is worth it. It is very, very beautiful. It's a really nice primer. They perform differently. They look different on the skin. The texture is completely different. The formula is different. One's moisturizing, one's not. This dries up really fast. This is easy to work with. Blends in your skin better. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. If I had to choose a pore filling, smoothing primer, I would go with Hourglass. Okay, and this is gonna give you a nice sheen. But if I'm looking for that enhancement of glow, I would go with Becca. It's that easy, guys. This is going to prep your skin better as a primer, in my opinion, but it's not gonna give you that glow if you want, you know, glow. This is like a glow, okay? This is glow out the window, Becca. I think I've made myself very clear in the differences of these two products. I'll check back within a couple of hours and we're gonna see how this looks by the end of the day. Through the camera, I'm not able to show you guys how reflective the Becca side is. It's extremely reflective in person and still the hourglass side gives a nice natural sheen. So I think it does a really nice job at controlling my oils to a certain extent while still providing me a nice sheen to the skin throughout the day. Both primers helped my foundation look, you know, very smooth and not cakey. What I really wanted to do is take all this makeup off, well at least my face makeup, and reapply the primers again and apply a matte foundation just to see how these primers, you know, the luminous properties in these primers. Ugh. Should I lock my door? So, like, once it's set, it's set. You just want to leave it be. Well, it smells so good, I can't get over it. You see the specks of glitters. This is a more matte foundation and it's a lot more coverage than the Becca Aqua Luminous foundation. So we're gonna see if the luminosity is able to still peep through. Hourglass is, again, very subtle and the Becca is more on the subtle side compared to using a luminous foundation. This is going to help you glow no matter what foundation you use it looks like. It looks a little bit more even and flawless. It acts more like your typical primer, you know, rather than, like I said, Becca is more like an enhancement. It's going to enhance your luminosity. I had a lot of fun filming this and it was really interesting. I think I really got a good understanding of what each product is used for and the sole purpose of each one. Hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!